Hey everyone, Nick Kretikos of Nick Seasonal Decor. As you come in, let me know you can hear me okay, that you can see me okay. Uh, and if you're catching the replay, as always, I always ask this, let me know that you're tuning in. It, you know, it's always nice to see who comes back and watches my videos. So tonight we're going to be doing that wreath that I've promised you for weeks on end now, and that is going to be the blueberry wreath. I am so excited about this project. I'm so excited to see how it turns out. Uh, let's all say a quick little prayer that'll turn out nice. I'm not positive, but I'm hopeful. <laughs> so let's see. Hey, Christine, nice to see you. We're going to use this sign. So this sign, when I first wanted to create this kit, uh, it did sell out before I was able to do so, which is very unfortunate, but that's okay because we're going to do it tonight. So it says blueberries on it. The bluer the, uh, the berries, the sweeter the juice. How cute is that, right? Uh, item number of AP7194. I actually have this in kit form. So if you go to kits at nickseasonaldecor.com, you're going to be able to find them listed individually in case kits aren't for you. And what I thought we would do is actually do a double ribbon bow tonight. So we're going to use two different ribbons. First thing we got to do is staple the sign in place. So we're going to just move our grapevine and staple. I'm going to staple it above and below the sign. A couple staples each. And all of our signs that are MDF, they're all able to support a quarter inch staple. I know that's a question we get asked a lot. Uh, we have no issues. I know other people use cable mounts. I prefer pipe, uh, pipe cleaners and staples. Okay. Now we can just twist that pipe cleaner around. I'm so excited. All right, now time to secure it in the wreath. So my plan is actually to secure it lower in the design. I think that'll give us the best effect. Ooh, we might want to place that pipe cleaner a little bit more so towards the right. Let's do another pipe cleaner. And the cool thing is, you guys, we just got our pipe cleaners in. So in case you haven't seen, we have like five or six pipe cleaners available. Not just individual pipe cleaners. There more, there's more than one pipe cleaner. Okay. So I did send out a text, or Alex sent out a text tonight. If you received it, let me know that you got your text. And if you would like to sign up for our alerts, we did send out two today, but it's very rare that we actually do send out two. In the last week and a half, we haven't sent out many texts at all. I know lots of you guys were like, uh, where's the texts? But uh, that's because I don't like to bombard you. So we sent out two today. Oh, that scared me. I thought it was a crack. It's just a little hot glue from my table. We actually just made a cross wreath. It says he has risen with that purple cross. We got more of those back in stock. It turned out really pretty. We used the tulips, which, by the way, you guys, I know lots of you placed orders. Thank you so much. Uh, but some of you asked, where's the tulips? And I was like, what are you talking about? They're on the website. Turns out they weren't even listed. So they're listed now. I did it. Alex had no idea what happened. So signs in place. Almost 500 of you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We might come back in with another pipe cleaner at a later point but I can always do that off camera. I don't want to keep you guys too long. So the two ribbons that come in the kit, we do have plenty of. We have this two and a half inch faux du peony we're going to work in. Item number of RD110254. And we're using all shades of blue tonight. So these rolls, that one was $7.99, sign is $5.49, grapevine $6.99, and this ribbon is $3.75. I believe. RG013208K. And although the blues don't match perfectly, I think all of these different shades of blue are going to pair really nicely. So let's take a scissor and cut this off. All right. Let's start with our two and a half inch faux du peony. We're going to do, let's cut our tails first. Let's do that. Let's not jump the gun. As you can see, I'm excited. So we'll cut a set of tails of each color. And we're going to do a funky bow because we do have some really cool products that we're going to work in between the loops. 
Hey, Lois. How's everyone doing tonight? Let me catch up on comments. Hey, Mary. Hey, Cynthia. Dana got her text. Minnie received her text. Awesome. How many of you guys placed orders today? A lot went through, and I packed a lot of orders. Um, Alex had to leave early, so I got more orders done, and dad's down here now. Dad and Yaya are packing orders, so hopefully tomorrow all orders will be sent out, which is really, really great, but we appreciate it. Let's do a funky bow. Come on, work with me. We'll do a loop about four and a half inches, tails about six to eight of each. And I'm figuring three loops will be enough of each, but we might actually end up only doing two. Okay, so again, this is in kit form. If somebody doesn't mind sharing that link, I forgot to, to uh, post the link down below, but it is under kits. I hope I made it active. Maybe somebody can let me know. I think I made it active. But you guys know me with technology. It's not my strong suit. I'm surprised I'm even able to make Facebook Lives work. All right, that's our second of the faux du peony. Let's come back in with our second gingham. And now when you kind of see it, it does work really nice with that sign. All right, let's do one more set of each. I think that'll be perfect. And our final piece of ribbon. Then we can tie it up, dovetail, secure it in place, and then come back in with the blueberries. We have a fern. We have some cosmos we're gonna be working in. I'm excited. Hey, Emma, thank you so much for the stars. Wow, lots of you got your texts tonight. Who enjoys the text alerts? I know it's not for everybody. You know, we do have some people that say, remove me from the text alerts. <laughs> and then some people, you know, after a day or two not receiving a text, they'll be like, remove me from the list, or you send too many texts. But, you know, at max, we typically do one on a day like today where we have a lot of exciting news to share with you. We might do two but that's very infrequent. All right, so before I dovetail, I'm actually gonna secure it in place. We're gonna place it high up in the design. Just feed that pipe cleaner right through the frame. Okay, so I'm a little bit behind in comments, but I see Nancy shared. Thank you, Nancy, for your share. I appreciate it. Helps us reach and inspire others. And if you don't mind taking a sec and following us on Instagram or YouTube, I would appreciate it. You guys know my thought process. Things can change on a dime. You know, our Facebook page can be shut down tomorrow or, you know, anything could happen. And we still want to be able to inspire you on other platforms. So it's always a good idea to make sure you're following us everywhere. That way nothing happens. Knock on wood. Biggest fear. So before we trim up any of these tails, we might have to, you know, cut them a little bit shorter, but you're better off doing that in kind of micro doses. You don't want to cut too much off at once. Don't get overly confident because if you take too much and your bow is too small, you know, you're going to have to make another bow, which you have plenty of ribbon to do so. So it wouldn't be the end of the world, but at the same time, we like to be as little wasteful as possible and having to either scrap a whole bow and start fresh or just trim it slowly, I'd rather go with the latter, so. Okay, a couple tails left. Looks like one more after this. Do you guys like that blue? I mean, you gotta work in blue with blueberries, and I've never actually seen a blueberry design before, so I'm really excited for this. I know I keep saying that, but I am. Fluff it out. Decide what needs trimming. And don't feel as though you have to trim at this point too because we can always trim later on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those longer tails and just curl them up to get them out of the way for now. That way we don't spill hot glue all over them. Certain ribbons, it's easy to peel hot glue off of. Things like velvet, you know, forget about it. It'll just peel the velvet right off. 
Okay. You don't do as near many texts as some other groups do? Well, thank you for that. I think that's a compliment. Yeah, I don't like to text too much. I mean, I'm not a huge texter as it is. All right, I'll just trim this up. I know it needs it. A little bit. Let's just do a little bit. And then whatever else we need to trim, we can trim later on. Okay, bow is in place. All right, I lied. This one needs trimming. I want these ones to be shorter than the rest. All right. Next product. So yeah, you guys were able to find this under kits. Looks like spring, right? Who would have thought blueberries would look so good? So in the kit, you get three of these blueberry sprays. We sold out of them, but we got more today specifically for this kit. That's why we purchased, you know, such increments of them. So three of those, we do have other blueberries available. You also get two of these Cosmo sprays in this. So if you didn't want to work in blueberries, these Cosmos is enough. Look at how great that looks. And you get one fern uh, bush. So this fern bush, I wasn't expecting to be so inexpensive. This fern bush is only like 549 or so. So the item number for this is PF1700 in our shop. And let's see if we can just pull them out. I do still have that blister. I have a blister on my finger, you guys, because I burned it the other day. First time in a long, long time. And it's on the finger that I type with, too. It's a nuisance. But that's okay. We can survive. So that's probably all we'll work in, but we still have five, four, four, five, four, one, two, three, four, five fern fronds. That's a tongue twister and a half. So we'll start with this to build a nice base of greenery, and then we can come back in with our blueberries and our cosmos. So we don't need much stem on these either. How did you burn yourself? So we were creating the the country like farmhouse arrangement in that metal milk jug. Who remembers seeing that? But we were creating that the other night and I didn't realize Yaya brought that container from home. I used it before, uh, somehow it was dismantled. I didn't realize that the foam didn't go all the way through. So when I poked it through, my finger kind of went deeper than it should have. So, so needless to say, I'm suing Yaya. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you packed a bunch of your orders today. You guys saw her this afternoon, morning-ish. Actually, it was morning because uh, we did a live walkthrough of all of the new goodies we got in. Ooh, I didn't even see this tail. We forgot one dovetail. There we go. Continue on with that fern. This fern's the perfect texture for this design. But yeah, I was surprised because, I mean, I never burn myself. But it was at my fingertip. And that's like a sensitive part of your body, so it got me. A piece up top. And by placing this too, if you guys end up having thinner ribbons, ribbons that are a little bit weaker, uh, taking greenery and flowers and placing it behind those loops will help prop them up and keep them exactly where you want. So that's just a quick little tip for you all. So the thinner the ribbon, more greenery behind it, the better off you are. All right, we kind of collared the bow with that fern and let's just break off one more piece, uh, two more pieces. Then you still have three pieces left of that for like 549. Place one piece on the left. We'll just bring this design down a little bit more. We might actually just use up the rest. Let's just use up the rest. Might as well. Don't need the wires on them though. Do 
dip them in your glue skillet. We'll poke this one here. We have a little baby one, which let's just work it into the bow. Let's place both of these into the bow. So I'm just snipping it at the end, placing a little bit of hot glue. Ribbon does wonders when it comes to securing products into your bow. No, ribbon does wonders when just securing products. It really holds everything in place. All right, greenery's in place. That makes the color of the bow pop out more, right? I love that blue. And I never used to be a blue fan. I used to think blue was overrated, but I love it now. So we have these mini Cosmos. The item number is MTF21489. We have them in a couple colors, I wanna say. So you get two of these sprays in the kit and we have plenty of everything left over, which is really nice. I like to make sure, you know, in case you're not interested in kits, we still have availability. So we'll just snip off each stem individually. That way we have more stems to poke in throughout. Always a good idea, you guys. If you don't have enough of anything, break it up into a million gazillion little pieces. That way you can distribute it throughout. Take this stem, we'll bring it down. Like that little 3D action there. Place another flower sticking out of the bow. I'll do three flowers in the bow. So kind of a triangular effect. Doesn't have to be, but we'll do it here. So you guys hear dad downstairs? Dad's still packing, packing away. And our final flower from that bush, we can place, I'm gonna place it above the bow actually, like that. And this one, I'm actually gonna snip. Let's snip that off. And then bring that in a little bit deeper. All right, time for the blueberries. We can fluff our bow afterwards. I see some of you guys are getting the kits. Thank you so much. So for these, how do I wanna use these? First of all, the item number is EC417703. You get three in the kit. Individually, they are 649. Let's do that. That's gonna look best if we can pull them all apart. And we'll use that foliage that came with them too, because I don't like to be wasteful. So I had to make sure you guys got enough blueberries because that's the whole point of this wreath, right? Couldn't skimp on the blueberries. And that one you can't see from this angle, but if you look at it from a different angle, to the left, you can see it. So not everything has to be in your face, you guys. Keep things slightly obscured. It gives the eye more interest. And that way, when you look at a design, you're never just looking at the design and then being done. You're seeing it from a different light. Thank you for the share. So we'll break down our second spray. And then who wants to see what I filmed pre-recorded a little while ago? Actually, not a little while ago, right before the video. Let me know if you want to see the Easter cross wreath. Place a berry spray up there. More than likely, we'll end up trimming these loops a little bit. But I love these leaves that came with them. They actually do look like blueberry leaves. And I'm actually going to stick one into the bow. That's how much I like them. Another blueberry behind the bow. Another blueberry here. And that's kind of covering the sign a little bit, which is gonna look really nice. So before we add our final blueberry spray, let's do a little bit of trimming. 
unless we kind of like it curled up. I think it still can come in just a little bit, just a smidge. Okay, smidge there. I like that one kind of curled a little bit. This one can come in a little bit. Same with this one. Fluff, you can never fluff too much, but you can fluff too little. Clean up my workstation. Oh, we still have a few more leaves left. And we have one more uh, blueberry spray left. This was a full kit. I mean, for our first kit in a while, we got to go with a bang, right? I don't remember the last time we made a kit, but I do know it's been a bit. So these tails that I've made, we can pull those underneath the bow, just repositioning that loop. Pull them down below. I would like to see the cross wreath, please. You got it. We'll show that after this. I haven't listed it yet, but we'll list it for sale. And can somebody check, too, to see if I have those tulips listed? Uh, I did it on my phone instead of my laptop today. And just a little bit different. They did update the website. Okay, okay. Pull our tails down again. And for these longer tails, I'm just going to curl them up. I think that'll look best for this design. If you don't like your tails curled, don't, don't curl them, right? Final blueberry spray. So all I'm doing, like I said, is just pulling them off individually. Trying to avoid my middle finger <laughs> because that finger's burnt. And I guess we all try to avoid that finger at all costs anyway, right? I don't want to be giving you guys the bird in the middle of a live. Dad's probably, Dad's listening to me downstairs saying, what is he talking about? He's so weird. Is that what you're saying, Dad? Oh, he said what? <laughs> okay. We'll take another berry, a blueberry, place it there. Oh my gosh, you guys. Dad, this is looking sweet with the blueberries. I'm so happy we got those. And I don't want that one there. I'll take that one and place it there so you get the full impact. And then once that hardens up, I'll just bend it. Oh, we can do it now in a little bit. Then we got a couple more leaves. Come on. There we go. Which I'm actually going to take. I'm going to place one here on the outside and then another one on the outside, down below. Just sticking out, not tucked in too close. And there you have it. What do you guys think of the blueberry kit? Hands up if you think that turned out cute. And of course, I'll fluff. You guys know how I am with my fluffing. We'll fluff this bow like crazy. I love my snowman and sunshine. Uh, I don't know if that said the wreath, but thank you so much. Gorgeous, I love it. Thank you guys for all the hearts. Look at how much ribbon we have left. We used maybe two and a half yards, if that, from this. So you still have, I'd say, 90% of this roll left over. And I'd say same amount of this roll left. You know, once we roll it completely back up, Didn't use too much from that. So I don't like to be too wasteful in kits. I like to make sure you guys use everything. But the good thing is, is that there's no surcharge in kits. The price is the exact same as individual items. You just get them kind of 
simplified where you can just do easy shopping instead of add them to your cart. So it comes with the sign, grapevine, two ribbons, three blueberries, two of the Cosmo sprays, and the fern. All right, so that is that. Thank you, guys. Love the blueberry wreath. Uh, Kenzie said she wouldn't have added any long tails. That is totally fine. You don't need to add long tails. You could totally remove those if you want. Thank you, Susan. So now let's show you the cross wreath. So I just completed this. That was another tutorial this month. And this one was from date night two nights ago in the wreath community, which in case you guys haven't heard yet, no, Betty, the sign is available individually. You don't need to purchase the kit. We have plenty of inventory without the kits. We did list 30 kits, and then there's plenty of leftovers. So let's see if I can do this one-handed, you guys. Let's see. Come on. Yes, Ruby, you did catch the end, unfortunately, but the replay will be posted any second now. So that is the He Has Risen wreath we just made. So we use nothing but florals and that beautiful sign. So that's the newest tutorial, which hopefully I'll have edited this evening for the wreath community. We use those tulips, which I didn't even know weren't listed. We use some really high quality lavender we got in. Uh, we use some Hoya, the sign that sold out, we got more of those. So now let's hang. Only thing listed is a pink tulip bunch. I don't know about that. Everything else should be listed. We got hundreds of items. So let's see. Take that wreath off. Grab this wreath. And I'll see if I can fluff this one handed. Okay, let's see. Let's do it together. Clean up the grapevine a little bit. This is going to be hard, but that's okay. Am I going to be able to curl this single-handedly? Mm, probably not. But you guys get the gist of it. So what we're going for is the gist of things here. And I'll do a better job fluffing. But how cute is that? With the blueberries. So that loop, for instance, up there has got to be pulled straight up like that gingham. Uh, this loop, before it gets blurry, has got to be tightened up too. Tail's got to, you know, be worked on a little bit. But all in all, very, very pretty in my eyes. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you guys dad real quick. That's what that noise is. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing over there, yay? Doing the She's doing the orders. <laughs> is there a lot more left? Plenty. Plenty. We'll get through them, you guys. So most of those orders will be out a day or two. And then, oops, sorry, I just flipped the camera. So I did like 30, 40 alone today. Oh, I do need a haircut bad. Uh, Alex helped with a bunch today too. So we're actually really caught up, uh, surprisingly. So for the amount that we got, we're actually sending them out really quickly. Um, a decent chunk of the orders we got today actually went on the trucks today. So that is the update. Let me know what you think of that blueberry wreath. I hope you think it's cute. Yes, we did fill up the warehouse. Uh, yes, we do have the blueberry signs without the kits. Let me flip it around one more time. And that's the blueberry wreath. So I'll talk to you all later. Let me know your thoughts and have a great evening. Uh, again, kits available, wreathcommunity.com, free ship. Nope, that's the wreath community, which opens up March 31st. So you can learn more at that group. Uh, about that group at that website but this stuff is nickseasonaldecor.com so i'm clearly losing it bye everyone